What's up, guys? Um, today I'm gonna be fishing a little pond that's uh, close to my house, and I was gonna take y'all with me. This is my first time actually, uh, like recording on my GoPro to go fishing. So, like, just kind of bear with me. You know, I'm still getting the hang of it. Since it's a pond, I just kind of throw a little finesse lure. I'm just throwing this little TRD Ned rig here. I'll show it to y'all. See that little Ned rig right there. Hopefully that's focused. I can't really tell. But yeah, it's just a little net rig. You know, it's just a I know it's all out of whack. I gotta re-rig it, but um it's just a little net rig that I got to from ten pound braid to ten pound fluorocarbon. I like to use those braid fluoro leaders because I feel like you don't have to set the hook as hard and you know sometimes you don't always get a good hook set and I really think that, that braid helps a lot with it. Uh so yeah, I'm just gonna take y'all. I'm gonna put my little chest mount that I got on. And so y'all can kind of see what I'm seeing, and I hope y'all enjoy this video and like it, and I hope y'all subscribe to my channel. And so with that being said, we're going to go out to the water, and uh, we're going to try to catch us some bass. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy. Alrighty, folks, hopefully y'all can hear me just fine. Uh, there is a small amount of wind, but yeah, I'm just kind of throwing this Ned Rig out there and just letting it sink to the bottom and then kind of because this water's pretty cold and i've noticed it's kind of clear so i'll try to be a little bit stealthier and kind of sneak up oh I, I, I missed that one hopefully y'all can see it just fine let me look at my app and make sure y'all see me just fine yeah i think y'all can see me just fine uh let me know in these comments what I can do better because ultimately, you know, I'm just trying to teach y'all and hopefully give y'all the best experience. Because um, I want it be, I want to know how to fish if I didn't have nobody. Oh, we got one. Little bitty guy. I don't know if y'all can even see him. He's so small. Yeah, let me get this one unhooked. Oops, I didn't quite make him in the water. Oop, come on, go fish. All right, he's back. He's back swimming. Fish by a Ned Rig. So I'm gonna tell y'all about these these TRD. Man, they sure that they're, 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 they're with. Oh, I can't talk with the Elazitech. They really do last. I could probably catch 30 fish on this one lure. You know, and when um, you spend four dollars or five dollars where I live on a pack of them, and you get about eight in a pack, six in a pack, that's a pretty good buy, you know. So, I mean, that's just my opinion on that matter. I mean, you do get a pretty good buy, you can't lie about that. Like, and there's not really a wrong way to fish this. I mean, I'll go fish this thing with docks. I'll go fish it with, um, you know, trees and stuff. Oh, oh gosh, grass. I mean, you can really fish this thing just about any way. Oh, shallow ledges, you know, ledges that ain't super deep, you know. This is a great finesse bait for that. And it just, it really helps you just get bites. And a lot of days in tournaments and just fishing, something that helps you get going is just getting bites. And when you can just get bites, even if they're not the biggest ones, they still help and they still could help fire up a school of fish or a terrible cast but help fire up a school of fish or something along those lines you know what i'm saying and i just they're just a good lure for that and that's the beauty of finesse fishing sure i mean i love throwing jigs and stuff like that but um some days you some days you just gotta finesse them, you know what I mean? And this is a great lure to do it with. 
I get this lure to my sister and um, just let her fish. And oh, there's one that just moved. I don't know if y'all seen that on GoPro or not, but I saw it with my eyes. So we're gonna try to catch that one. And that's so cool that y'all can like see what I'm seeing. That amazes me. I'll, I'll catch him on this thing swimming it too. Kind of slow wheeling it in like a swim bait or something. Especially if I like spook one or days kind of like that. Great for that. Great for that. I mean, yeah, I gotta give uh, TR. Uh, who makes this lure? Z Man. Z Man makes this lure. A lot of effort. They, I mean, they, I, I don't even know how you were so smart to design this. I mean, they were really smart into the making of this lure. I say, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's one that just busted over there. I might have hit these fish at the right time. Like when I caught that fish earlier, um, there's usually about two or three more that'll go with it. Hope I just seen another one bust up a little bit. They all cast over to old oh, dang right on the money too. All right, there might be fish, folks. Y'all might see old gear here go. What to do on one? You know what I mean? I love sport bass fishing. Leave a like on this video if y'all love the sport of bass fishing. It is amazing. I mean, I really do like it. Oh. Folks, I think I'm hung, and I think I broke off. All right, well, folks, let's go put an end to this video. I'll go home real quick. I'm gonna go home and get a buzz bait. I'm feeling like a buzz bait's gonna catch him, so I'll see y'all back in here in a minute when I get my buzz bait. All righty, guys, I'm here to give y'all another, try to take another take here. Okay, y'all can see everything. Fix my camera. As y'all can see, I got a little buzz bait tied on. Alright, here we go. The reason I went with the buzz bait was because I've been seeing some fish jump. So I figured I'll give it my best little shot with the buzz bait here. Got this on a little 6'6 six, six, medium heavy duck at micro magic. This is one of my favorite rods I've ever thrown. I just, I really do love it. It's a beat the hell, oh heck, but uh, beat the heck, but um, I got two missing guys on it and one replaced guide. But um, the rod itself is tough. Just the guides ain't the best, you know what I mean? Now those Fiji guys, those Fiji guys are pretty good, but I don't know, maybe I'm just too hard on it. This rod is about four or five years old though. So it's seen its days, it's seen plenty of fish. Plenty of big ones too, I've thrown this. This is a great swim jig rifle, like a 3 8 ounce. Go skip docks with this. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Folks, I'm not gonna lie. I've done about six casts with this, and I'm surprised I ain't caught one. Cause I'm putting it right on the face. I know it. I know it. It's about to be a fish come up, blow this thing up. It's about to be a fish. Okay, no fish. I feel like these this buzz bait. I'm taking my word for it, but I feel like it's gonna catch a little bit bigger fish. Don't want that Mary was catching. On average, I think top waters usually catch a little bit bigger fish. A little cast down that way. Saying so with a buzz bait, you want to have a nice slow retrieve is what I found to be most successful here. Let me adjust my camera. 
We we'll have nice, slow, and steady retreat to where the bus bait is just barely on top of the water. And when they take it down, so say one takes it down right now, you look, have, have it for a second, and bam, you know, smack them in the head with it. Honestly, this might sound rude, but I try to take, I mean, I try to break everything. When I, when I catch a fish, I try to break the rod, break the reel, break the line. I mean, I just always have. Crack his head, you know what I mean? Oh, one just jumped. One just jumped. Oh, one following it. Oh, my goodness. Get your heart erased. This GoPro's right on my chest, so I'm surprised. I won't be surprised if y'all can hear it bumping. I don't know, don't look, do, 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 you know what I mean? Man, when them fish start falling out there, ooh, I'm like, ooh, boy. Come on, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy. Oh, 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 did y'all see that? One hit it. One hit it. It might have been a turtle, but one hit it. <sighs> Gonna go ham on one in a minute here. Ooh, one move, one move, one move. Over his head, over his head, watch. Come here, fishy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Are y'all feeling it, folks? I'm feeling it, folks. Oh, one just moved. Oh, God, one just moved. Come on, fishy. Come on. Do it for you, too, fishy. There's a car coming. Wait to the car. What's up, car? I don't know you, but... You know one thing. One come up and... One more, one more, one more. There's a Jeep. What's up, Jeep? I don't know you, but I know one thing. If one trip, one bacon just come up, I'm going to go, well, bam. Well, bam. You know what I mean? You feel me, YouTube? You feel me? I'm feeling myself with this buzz bait, folks. Oh, uh, come on, fishy. Okay, come on. I just throw it up in that pot here right quick. Oh, I know. I'm just gonna keep casting it here. This might be boring for y'all, but I know there's gonna be one come up and just donk it. Just hammer it. Try and put the hammer down on these fish right quick before I gotta, gotta youth. I'm on, I'm on hoss. Oh man. Man, this bud bait fish is some exciting stuff. If only y'all could, I mean, basically y'all kind of are right here with me. You know what I mean? Cause y'all can see exactly what I can see. And I just make sure y'all still see me just fine. Try to make sure. How y'all like this camera? Let me know if I'm not, if I'm doing a good job with my camera and everything. Tell me what I can do different. I feel like when I'm in my boat some this year, I'll definitely have the uh, thing on the glass, you know, like the windshield, so y'all can kind of see me fishing from the front deck of the boat or from the back of the boat. I'll probably use my chest mount in tournaments and stuff. Oh, one just, oh, come on, baby. Come on, fishy. Oh, man. Man, YouTube. Maybe it's because I got my camera going. That's why these fish ain't doing it. I got to see one little fish catch. I mean, that fish wasn't nothing, but... Man, I bet if I still had that Ned Rig up in here, I would have caught some of these fish. Now you want to. All right, folks, I'm gonna cross over to this other side real quick, but I'm gonna make a pitch right quick. Right. Uh -oh. 
Whoa! That thing came flying. Flying. I can't talk. I'm sorry. I'm getting pretty hyped up here, YouTube. I'm getting pretty hyped up. Okay, it's been a little bit muddy, but... Alrighty. That was successful. We're now on the other side of the pond. That's about to be one just busted. If y'all can see this buzz bait, this is one good looking buzz bait made by Strike King. Oh man, I figured one about to come up and need that thing. Well, here, let me. And you're kidding. You're kidding. What? All right, YouTube, this is pretty disappointing. I'm starting to get mad at myself. Cause I ain't catching nothing. Now I'm just kind of parallel casting this bank right here. And slow wheeling it back. Oh, missed it. That gummit, Gary. Man. I only had one come up and snatch it. I don't know if y'all seen that or not. Saw that. As you can see right here, there's a little pocket where they kind of just sit in there. If you sneak up on them, you sneak up on them, you usually can catch one. See right, right there, right in front of me. That's so cool, I can see myself fish. That's, that is legitness right there. Whoever made these GoPro cameras, I don't know who you are, but you were thinking. And I'm glad you made them. So folks like me can watch themselves fish. And if you see where my buzz bait is right now, in the summertime, grass grows in this pond good. Good, good, in this in this pond. And when my buzz bait is throughout, throughout that little cove, is a um, grass line, and they usually sit on the edge of that grass line. Or it's not, it don't come out super far. Maybe I'll come up about two foot from the, uh, come out about two foot from the bank. Well, man, let me tell you, when they're sitting in there, oh, you can go ham on them. Come on, where are the 10-pounders out in this pond? All right, we're about to catch 10 pounder. Man, aiming my bus bait ain't close enough to the bank is what it is. I need to get it a little bit closer. Cast it on the bank, just drag it out in the water. Oh yeah, that's gotta be a fish. Don't know if y'all can see it. Let me look on my phone, see if y'all can. Yeah, there's kind of grass. That's right out in front of us, right there. All right, YouTube, I'm about to have to pack my stuff up and go home. If I don't catch one on one of these couple of calves right here, there's a little pocket back up in there that's sit up in there. It'd be, it kind of drops off from about, you know, a foot of water to about three foot of water, and that little small drop will hold them fish. Come on, man. I know there's got to be one in there. Come on, I know there's a fish that want to bite. Whoa! Alright YouTube, I hope y'all liked this video. I think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to talk to y'all within these last couple of casts. 
I mean, I've been talking this whole time, probably 15 minutes is what this video went. But, um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, my first time using this GoPro to fish like this. Uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, I kind of enjoyed the experience. It was very fun. Um, I can look at this tape now and kind of learn from my mistakes of fishing and stuff. Now that I got it on video. But yeah. I'm excited to post it so y'all can see it and edit this and everything. And uh, I really do hope y'all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. I've had a super fun time. I mean, I really am sorry I didn't wear them out, but hopefully y'all might have learned a little bit about fishing. That's what my ultimate goal is to teach y'all about the great sport of bass fishing and tips and techniques and i try to share my knowledge as i go along with my experience through this sport and uh, yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it be sure to like hit subscribe comment what i can do better and i'll see y'all in the next one